Hi everyone, name is Carlos here, and um, I've been itching to make a video of some sort, just a, just a, just a uh, different topics about life and different philosophies I've always just come across that I find really helpful, and I just, I've just been willing to, wanted to share something, you know, something I want to give back to the world in a way. But anyways, well, this is my first video, and I want to talk about. Well, my first topic I want to talk about is synchronicities. What are synchronicities? They are, well, for example, this is straight off Wikipedia. Synchronicity is a concept created by a psychiatrist, Carl Jung, which holds that events are, quote-unquote, meaningful coincidences if they occur with no apparent causal relationship, yet seem to be meaningfully related. Now, what does that mean, then? That means that synchronicities depend on the, perceive, the perceptions of the person who sees the coincidence, and two, whether that coincidence is meaningful or not. Oh yeah, one more thing, there can be no cause and effect. For example, um, let's say you donate your last five dollars in your pocket to a charity. Suddenly, a few days later, you, a few days later, you ran into suitcase full of money ten thousand dollars guess what um, suddenly it's your lucky day you know <laughs> um, but it's not always gonna happen that way just because you donate again another five bucks that doesn't mean you're gonna run into another suitcase you know it's not always like that you know so synchronicities well let me give you another couple examples from my life so I was born in Miami Florida in uh, Miami Florida the zip code was 33128 33 um, I live in Southern California um, I'm in which is located in latitude 33 Miami Florida is located in latitude 33 as well let's see the college that I was going to go to back in Florida wasn't it was located in 3301 College Boulevard again 33 I live right off of College Boulevard on the 76 uh, here in California. Coincidence? Uh, not just a coincidence, you know. But um, but what can I get from all of this information? What can I gather, you know? What does that mean? Well, for one, um, there's no cause and effect. It means it doesn't matter where I'm located, you know. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's just there. It's a, it's a state of kind of like a state of being, I want to say. It's like a, you know, the meaning I have behind it, it, it's subjective to everybody, even who experiences the same synchronicity with 33. Um, so for me, I would say it means I'm on a path in life. I have, I'm on a path in life where, you know, I'm just on a path. I'm on the right path where I want to go and where I'm looking to be at, you know. But um, there it just synchronicity is not limited to numbers. It's the, it can come in many different ways. It can be plants, um, animals, or just just events in life. You know, for example, some of the other synchronicities I've ever run into was uh, Avalon. The word Avalon, um, for some reason, it's um, it comes in different forms. There's two songs uh, that are made, are called Avalon, or remixed named Avalon, you know, and although these two songs are from completely different genres, they exert a kind of a happy, energetic feeling, you know, when I listen to them, and they're completely, they're completely different from the rest of the album. From which they come from, or from the from which the bands or artists made, you know. So that's a interesting one. But also, uh, come to learn that Avalon. Yeah, one of, I hope I'm right on this. Where King Arthur was uh, returned to when he was seriously injured, and where he was from, I want to say, King Arthur wielded a sword. The sword has been synonymous with. Um, special operations and well I've tried off of special operations it's been uh, something that I was uh, 
very curious about. But anyways, I kind of digress there. But um, when you in order to find these synchronicities, you know, you can't always be wary of them. You can't always be looking at the time. Okay, look at the time. Look at the time. Oh, is this going to come up? Is this a part of my life where? Okay, is it going to come up now? You know. You gotta be open, receptive, open and receptive to life, and I say it's just like part of life that you can't really, you can't really control it, and it's something that will come to you naturally. I would say it's something that it will you will attract once you've reached a certain point in your life that you can say that you can put a meaning behind it. It'll come to you. I think. You know, it's, um, I think for those who are spiritually aware, who have a certain awareness uh, of a certain degree, you know, that's when it'll start to appear more and more. So, um, and this is not just me just talking highly about myself, but I think this is something that I've looked up among people who've ran into these synchronicities as well, into these, uh, okay, you know, these uh, coincidences, meaningful coincidences in life. But, um, if you ever, um, I would say, come across these, I don't think you can ever really lay it down, like, uh, pinpoint it and say, okay, the fact that this came up means that this is going to happen in life, you know? But you, it should make you wonder about um, how are you feeling in that state of mind? How, what's your state of mind when, the, let's say, your synchronicity come up? Are you happy at the time? Are you sad? Are you very depressed? Are you in a deep uh, um, contemplation? Deep contemplation. Are you thinking a lot about life? Are you very happy at the time? Or do you feel very centered? Do you feel emotionally balanced, you feel emotionally unbalanced, you know, so those are just thoughts to ponder about, you know, when you find this a repetitive, a repetition to these symbols and signs of life, you know, anyways, that's, uh, that's all I got for this video, hope uh, this has brought some, some food for thought to think about, other than that, leave a comment, um, anything, you know, questions, comments, concerns, and, uh, I'll see if I can answer in a timely manner. Yeah, I appreciate you watching as well, and, uh, have a good day.